say when they're, uh, why can't, uh, never mind. Grumble, grumble. Rubble, rubble. It's hurricane season. What to do, what to do. I'm Callie Lewis. Batting the hatches as Geek Beat takes the net by storm. See what I did there? <laughs> this episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Audible. We're in the early stages of the Atlantic hurricane season, which officially runs from June 1st to November 30th each year. Did you know it was that long? Of course, Mother Nature doesn't always pay attention to Google Calendar. History shows hurricanes as early as January 3rd and as late as December 30th, when apparently she takes the New Year holiday off. I wish I could. Before we get into it, remember we're still setting up the brand new studio. The massive infinity wall is going up as I shoot this. A huge thanks to those of you in our awesome community who have decided to put your name on our Geek House Wall of Fame and help support our efforts to make this place geek heaven. Robert Albury got a large one. Also, Renee Ritchie, Dante Oliver from Scroll, Randy Grago, DJ Coaster, Arne Jansen, Banks Key Peacock, Roy Eubanks, Scott Pirani, Bruce Murray from Assist Information, Services, Gabrielle Dussel, Philip Bardassian, and Simon Chang. Whew, I hope I didn't screw you, uh, the uh, names up too much. <laughs> you guys are so cool. If you'd like to participate, go to geekbeat.tv slash fundraiser. And a special shout out to our new patron, Chris Fasson, at the Dr. Geek level. We appreciate everything you do. Anyway, back to the current Atlantic storm season. If this year's season is an average one, it should peak on September 10th, and the frequency should taper off around November 10th. Whether you live along the Atlantic or the Gulf Coast or just interested in hurricanes? You'll be happy to know there are several apps, websites, social media accounts, and gadgets to stay one step ahead of Mother Nature. But don't get too confident. She'll throw a wrench at your plans at any moment. Get all the links at gb.tv slash 879. Okay, free hurricane apps. To get your information straight from the National Weather Service or National Hurricane Center, you'll need a third-party app like NOAA Now for Android or MyFox Hurricane for iOS and Android, which bundles Fox News video along with the National Weather Service maps and information. For Windows users, there's the unofficial weather.gov app. It pulls in maps and forecasts from the National Weather Service site. If you'd like to bypass third-party apps and still get your information straight from the National Hurricane Center or National Weather Service, just use the full mobile versions of those sites. They'll work on any smartphone and, of course, are ad-free. Bookmark them today. You'll thank us later. You should also get the Hurricane Tracker app from the American Red Cross. It's available for Android and iOS. It's packed with well-thought-out features like a button that requires only a single push to let your family and friends know you're safe. How awesome is that? And location-based weather alerts, real-time shelter information if you need to evacuate, even a flashlight app if you lose your power. It's basically the Swiss Army knife of hurricane apps. The Insurance Information Institute has an app for iOS and Android called Know Your Stuff to help you do a home inventory before the storm gets there in case you have to file a claim. There's also a Know Your Coverage app that helps you evaluate your coverage and a Know Your Plan app to develop a family emergency plan if you have to evacuate. These two are only available as iOS apps. They don't care about you Android or Windows users. Joking, joking, joking. <laughs> now let's talk about websites in case you're anti-mobile. The National Hurricane Center's site is an obvious choice, and they also do a blog called Inside the Eye that's a great source of information. They have behind-the-scenes explanations of how they gather and interpret the data on their main site, as well as historical pers perspectives that you'll only find there. I can't talk today. It's not my fault. The Weather Channel's Hurricane Central has more stuff from commercial meteorologists and a real-time hurricane tracker that shows the path, position, and strength of a storm. It's slick. Speaking of real time, did you know that when the NOAA hurricane hunters are flying into a storm, you can see the live data they're recording on the web? Awesome! And I just added fly into a hurricane into my bucket list. Oh yeah. The Weather Service, Hurricane Center, and NOAA are all over social media. If you want to follow them, we've got links below to some of their most popular accounts. You might also want to follow some individual accounts like the Hurricane Center director and those hurricane hunters I hope to ride with someday. <sighs> yeah, this plan is forming nicely right on. No, you may not chase hurricanes. 
fine. Maybe I'll have to admire the power of Mother Nature from afar instead and listen to an audiobook like Isaac Storm, a story about the greatest natural disaster in American history, a hurricane that killed 6,000 people. I can listen while in the safety of my home, or gym, or train or car. And you can get a free audiobook yourself by going to audiblepodcast.com slash geekbeat. What about gadgets, though? Hopefully you already have your must-have gadgets hooked up to a UPS for limited power outages. You can buy a bare-bones, four-and-a-half-star rated APC power supply from Amazon for around 60 bucks, or for $90 more, a CyberPower mini tower, also rated for four-and-a-half stars by Amazon customers, with an LCD display to tell you how long you will have backup power before the batteries are drained. That's the one we use here in all of our offices at the Geek House. For longer power outages, you'll need a generator with a sine wave inverter for clean power for your electronics, or a whole house UPS system that's thousands of dollars. Which brings me to a device that is a must no matter where you live, doesn't cost all that much, and will keep working when the lights go out, a battery-operated weather radio receiver. For as little as $35, you can buy a very capable receiver like the Midland WR120B NOAA Weather Alert Radio. Say that four times fast. It can be said to sound an alarm only for your area and comes with its own backup power from a AAA battery pack. Speaking of storms, there have been two Hurricane Johns, but not one Hurricane Callie. Maybe I'm gonna take that up with the Hurricane Hunter crews when I finally get that ride. We already have a Hurricane Callie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to go, I'm Callie Lewis, bye.